ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله قال الله تعالى في كلامه المجيد والفرقان الحميد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون وقال الله تعالى يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا وقال تعالى يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله واحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار my dear brothers and sisters in islam today we are here though we are performing our juma prayer now but this day is a special for qurbani for sacrifice and most of us those who are able we are performing this act and we know hujjaj 2 or 3 million they are also doing the same is sacrificing animal to follow the command of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala following the sunnah of ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam we know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the quran when he asked prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam to announce hajj pilgrimage he said wa azzin fin nas bil hajj ya'tuka rijalan wa ala kulli dhamir wa ala kulli dhamirin ya'tina min kulli fajjin amiq liyashhadu manafi'a lahum wa yadhkuru isma Allah wa yadhkuru isma Allah fi ayyamin ma'lumat ala ma razaqahum min bahimatil an'am fakulu minha wa at'imu al-ba'is al-faqir in this verse when a uh, announcement was made for hajj in the same verse allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that they will come and they will also sacrifice animal whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided them as a rizq they are going to sacrifice and also they will feed others they will eat themselves and this sacrifice is not only for ummah of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said wa li kulli ummatin ja'alna man sakan liyadhkuru isma allah ala ma razaqahum min bahimatil an'am sacrificing of animal it was a, a manasik a ibada for other nations as well the nations muslim nations who came before us 
they also did the same so this is not only us so this is this has been going on since many many uh, centuries before prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sent down as a prophet now this sacrifice lot of scholars ulama has mentioned it it is a symbolic act this is a symbolic when we talk about symbolic act we mean that symbol mean an example for some of you to be clear when you see a crescent and a star okay so what do you understand by that islam muslim if it is in a flag of a country then you mean this is a muslim country so symbol meaning that it is something a symbolic things but its meaning is much much bigger wider its impl implication is greater so when we are sacrificing animal so in fact we are training ourselves to make sacrifices in other areas as well it is not only limited in uh, qurbani day you just an animal uh, sacrifice an animal that's it no this is whole umma does it together some other sacrifices we may perhaps do together like we give fitra together but this is like again a symbolic that means we develop our habit of making sacrifices whenever need comes we have to make that sacrifice whenever we have opportunity we have to make sacrifice so developing a habit a character islamic character of making sacrifice allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants sacrifice from us through sacrifice we purify our heart we become very close to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests us whether we are true in our faith we are true our in our belief or not through commanding us to make sacrifice allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran am hasibtum an tadkhulu al janna ولما يعلم الله الذين جاهدوا منكم ويعلم الصابرين الله سبحانه وتعالى do you think he will just give you jannah without testing you whether you strive for the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whether you are patient when you strive so he will test the test is part of our faith without test allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not let anybody step uh, in jannah therefore this qurbani this animal sacrifice for making our habit develop our character to make more sacrifices we have to show we believe we 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 love allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than anything else In a verse of the Quran, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Waladina amanu ashadu hubba lilla." Those who believe, they have to have most love for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. People have love again. Allah said, "Zuyna lilla su hubbu shahwa min min al nisa wal banin wal qanathir al muqantarat min al zahab wal fidda wal khayl al musawwa musawwama wal anam wal harz." ذَلِكَ مَتَاعُ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَاللَّهُ عِنْدَهُ حُسْنُ الْمَآبِ We have love of women, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. Children, gold, silver, animal, land. Love of all these things. But Allah said, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَشَدُّ حُبَّ لِلَّهِ Those who believe in Allah, they have to have love of Allah more than anything else. So whenever call comes of making sacrifice then believer will come forward and make the sacrifice 
Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala say wa yut'imuna at-ta'ama 'ala hubbihi miskinan wa yatima wasira They feed though they love food themselves they need food for themselves but yet they feed the miskin they feed yatim they feed captives so they feed people walladhina yunfiquna fi as-sarra wa ad-darra believer they spend their money in good condition also when they are facing difficulty always they uh, make sacrifices sacrifice makes our faith stronger sacrifice brings us very close to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's why we call it qurbani the word qurbani comes from qurb qurb means nearness the more you make sacrifice the closer you come to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you love allah you have to show through sacrifice if you don't make sacrifices that means our love of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is shaky shaky if we want, don't want to if we relate it to our everyday life we see we make sacrifices for people people we love our children our wives our our uh, brothers our sisters we love we make sacrifices for them we don't want to make sacrifice then love will not be there same goes in relation to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the more we sacrifice more you come close to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala بارك الله لنا ولكم في القران العظيم ونفعني واياكم بما فيه من الايات والذكر الحكيم اقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه انه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الملك الحق المبين إله الأولين والآخرين والصلاة والسلام على البشير النذير والسراج المنير محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم عبد الله الصادق الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد قال الله تعالى لن ينال الله لحومها ولا دماؤها ولكن يناله التقوى منكم كذلك سخرها لكم لتكبروا الله على ما هداكم وبشر المحسنين We talk about making sacrifice. Now, making sacrifice sometimes easier than keeping our intention in right place. Intention in right place. Because sometimes we make sacrifice, then we ruin its benefit, its result by doing things we are not supposed to do by saying things we are not supposed to say so it's a challenge when you make sacrifice therefore allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that when you sacrifice animals then animals blood flesh do not come to me what comes to me yanaluhu taqwa minkum taqwa ha huna ha huna ha huna taqwa is here in our heart why we do something why are we making this sacrifice if we relate it to our everyday life we which we supposed to that's the islam is all about it's not like you listen and you hear and you do whatever you like you understand and accordingly you change your behavior you change the way you do things if we want peace of islam in our personal family society then you have we have to act upon our understanding of islam our knowledge if we relate this sacrifice to our everyday life and following the hadith of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said allah uh, allah azza wa jal yaqumu yawm al qiyamah ya ibn adam maridtu falam ta'id 
تعودني قال يا ربي كيف اعوذك وانت رب العالمين is long hadith so i'm not going to recite all of it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the day of judgment will say to us oh my servant i was ill you didn't look after me then we'll say how is possible oh allah rabbul alamin you are ill we didn't look after you allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say that a person in your neighborhood he was ill if you looked after him you would have found it to, with me today as if you are caring for me so when you care again is feeding clothing this hadith goes on in every situation when we serve a human actually and make sacrifice for a human Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept as if we, we are de- doing it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore this, you know, when we sacrifice, we need to keep in our heart, in our mind, in our spirit, what are we doing and why are we doing it. So what are we um, getting from this hadith that beneficiary of our sacrifice is human being. Beneficiary of our sacrifice, human being. We do it for Allah, but human being benefits. So that is a challenge. When human, human being benefits, then shaitan gives waswasa. When we give somebody something, helping, making sacrifice, we want at least a little bit of recognition. Yeah, recognition. We, at least little bit of thank you from them. This is a human tendency. If we give somebody like abroad, for example, in ha- what's happening around the world, in uh, Burma, in, in Syria, in other places, we give through different charity organizations, money or whatever we give it goes. We don't know exactly who is getting it. That's a little bit safer. But when we have in our relatives, in our neighbors, a poor family, when we give them, we get actually in our relation, if we give, we give, we get double sword. Because we are looking after our relations and also we are giving charity because they are poor. Two sow up together. But when we give to our relations, their problem comes. We can't keep our intention right there because we want thank you from them. We want some sort of recognition from them. We want at least good behavior from them. When we don't get it, what happens then? We feel bad. As soon as you start feeling bad, what happens? Your sawab is perhaps going away because you haven't given it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the good intention. So the more closed people you help, support, give sacrifice, more challenge for you and me. That's what, that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the Quran, الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ لَا يُتْبِعُونَ مَا أَنْفَقُوا مَنَّمْ وَلَا أَذَى When you spend fi سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ for someone, then you do not follow that by showing your kindness or in any other way hurting that person. In any other way, even you look at that person, your eye contact may even hurt that person. So Allah SWT is saying that you cannot hurt the receiver. If you hurt the receiver, then it will affect your intention. You may not get reward from Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in this situation, don't give. Don't give. Qawlum ma'roofun wa maghfiratun khairum min sadaqatin yatba'uha adha. A good word. Forgiveness much better than a sadaqa which hurts. Which hurts the receiver. So we, Allah says, don't give. Your sadaqa is not uh, necessary. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran the prophetic method, how prophets used to make sacrifice for others. Innama nutu'imukum li wajhillah la nuridu minkum jaza'an wa la shukura. We are feeding you li wajhillah for the sake of Allah. La nuridu minkum we don't want from you jaza, any reward, any return, wala shukura, not even thank you. Not even thank you. Absolutely li wajhillah. If you do something absolutely li wajhillah, you will get 100% return from Allah. If you do it halfway, you may get it, get half, may not get half. Half. Therefore, it is important that we make sacrifice, but we have to make sacrifice for the sake of Allah. Liwajhillah, not hurting the receiver, and no way having in our even face any effect of that, that the uh, receiver may feel bad. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the fear that this training of qurbani we can understand and practice in our life. If we do that, Islam is peace. Family is in peace. I am in peace. If we don't, then trouble, trouble, and trouble. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our qurbani from all of us, inshallah, and help us to keep our intention right. Rabbana la tuzakulubana wa'ada iz hadaytana wa hablana min ladunka rahmah. إنك أنت الوهاب وأصلح اللهم أحوالنا في الأمور كلها وبلغنا بما يرضيك آمالنا واختم اللهم بالصالحات آمالنا وبالسعادة آجالنا وتوفنا يا رب وأنت راض عنا اللهم اجعل جمعنا هذا جمعا مباركا مرحوما وتفرقنا من كل شر معصوما ربنا لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجت ولا مريضا إلا شفيت ولا ميتا إلا رحمت ولا طالب أمرا من أمور الخير إلا سحلته له ويسرته اللهم وحد كلمة المسلمين واجمع شملهم واجعلهم يدا واحدة على من سواهم وانصر اللهم المسلمين واخزل أعداءك أعداء الدين واغفر اللهم لنا ولوالدنا ولإخواننا ولأشياخنا ولجميع من سبقنا بالإيمان وآتنا من لدنك رحمة وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا وآتنا ربنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار